you think, buddy? What do you think of sailing? In our last video, we introduced you to our new potential crew member, Foster Doberman Victor. Then we got to work getting Cadence ready to launch, and she splashed just a few days before we drove up for the long Memorial Day weekend. Fortunately, the rain moved off to the south as we arrived at the marina. Look at that, a bright red harness for the boy. We had purchased the most important piece of doggy equipment for our new crew member, the rough wear harness. Victor had no problems letting us strap him in. Just fine. What you think, baby? Wanna come down too? Come on. Come on, buddy. Check out the bed. It's not really made yet. <laughs> you checking it out, bud? Good boy. Yeah, you got a pretty good view into the kitchen from right there, too. Yes, sir. Checking it all out. Good boy. Did you find the toy box? Oh, good boy. <laughs> you found the tennis ball. Let's get your tennis ball, Raven. That's where we keep all of our doggy toys. <laughs> he looks very happy. Well, come here. You're looking kind of sad. Come on. Figure it out. Come on. Nice. Good job. What do you think of this whole thing? You're getting brave. Just figuring it out. Keep walking. Come on. Keep going. Good boy. Victor made himself at home pretty quickly, and it was a relief to see how confident he was on the boat. I'm sure it helped that Raven was there to give him the tour. With the dogs settled in, it was time to get back to boat work. This is all very interesting. What is going on down there? Left the uh, drain valve open for the water heater. Yeah. And where's the water heater? Uh, this is the water heater here. Okay, so we left the valve, the drain valve open on that, which was actually good because we wanted to get everything cleaned out of there anyway. So you're running it through the system. Check it out. Should we, uh... yeah, Raven's always very helpful. What's in there? Is there a ball in there? Is there a tennis ball down there? 
never know. Turn the water pressure again. Your water coming out of here. That's good. Off to a good start. Jill and I are putting the stack back on. Okay. What? What? I'll show you. You got a dog on the sale. Oh. Raven, come here. Good girl. Do you have yep. uh, one down here in the green? Yep. Good. So you guys can go up and down these stairs okay. Problem with the, uh, the get plugged. And um, it is. you can go to their website and see. You know, saw she went until I was standing under the boom before she jibed. I gave you. She was warning, warning you. Like Victor yeah. seems so stressed out. Right. Now he's like, now he's like tuning it out. Yeah. Victor's really stressed out. I know. So like,
buddy? What do you think of sailing? Well, our first sail with Victor aboard could not have gone better. Motoring, sailing, even healing, nothing fazed him in the least. As long as he had a person to snuggle up with, he didn't care what else was happening. Our main concern, of course, was keeping him from getting anxious because of his heartworm treatment. If his heart rate became too elevated, he would be at greater risk of a blockage in his blood vessels caused by adult heartworms dying off and breaking apart in the circulatory system. After this test, we were feeling pretty confident that we could give Victor the low-key lifestyle he needed while his treatment continued. Since we're in close quarters on the boat, and off the boat keep our dogs on leash, it would be easy to control his pace and monitor his activity level. It also helped tremendously that Victor's personality was already pretty mellow. And who could resist that sweet face? So our short-term foster arrangement was quickly becoming long-term. Maybe even permanent. We'll have to see how Victor feels about it. Thank you.